Welcome back to Wild West Hopkins family. I got a 1968 Ford Carrier. It's just a bed, but it is a trailer. And what I'm calling it, hey, I'm calling it my survivor trailer. trailer. So when I drive all the way up to Pennsylvania, I'm gonna have this here. And this is a brand new, uh, brand new, I wanted the white walls. So I'm gonna put a, a Ford uh, hubcap on here and I'll show you one that's already done. And we already, we already came over here. Do you want to come over here? And you can see the back of the truck is called a four carrier. And uh, this is your latches. And then after you get latches, you know, this is you know, pretty all. So it's all in hand before. These are the like food boxes back here. Because again, up to go here. If you guys know my channel. If you guys are new here, thanks for clicking on the channel. And look at that. Isn't that cool? Or you can disconnect these and all the way down. So it's got all kinds of little tricks for this thing. Anyways, 1968 Ford Carrier. And look at what we've done to it. It's super cool. Super cool. Alright. This is, look at the new white. Got brand new bearings. Repacked them all. The new tires on it. Repainted the rim, which I'm going to do to that one too. I have another one over here. It's, it's about the bearings are all done, but we want to uh, finish uh, spray painting underneath because we spray painted everything underneath. But we want to keep the patina going on. Anyways, we're gonna kick this off. I have something cool to show you guys. I love all the hooks and everything, but we're looking for like a, a, a tin camper shell, you know, like a tin one, like from the 60s or 70s. And I, I don't want a window here, I want a window to go open in the back. That way we could put medical supplies in here. Like um, this, for instance, is water. You turn this off and on. And then you put a 12 volt battery, which I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And then I got the extra tire over there. The spare tire goes underneath here. And this is your anchor for it. I got a box, box for the battery. But for right now, and I got new chains. So the chains that... I gotta cut that up and, and make two chains go off to each side so it's safe. And see, I wanted to see if this works, guys. Give me a second here. Let's see, that's positive. That goes the other way. And then positive is right here. So we're gonna try to see if the pump works. For the first time, it's life. We got a pump over here. If you want to come and take a quick look at this, I want to show you real quick. Okay, this is full of kerosene. We we don't need them full of kerosene. These are kerosene lamps and kerosene stoves, and stuff like that. We don't need that kind of stuff. So get rid of all that crap. And we got a bicycle. I mean, an air pump, so we can pump up the tires. So I'm gonna have a built-in one onto this machine here. And then we got right here, we got, you know, just outlets for like cigarette outlets, you know, for 12 volt battery stuff. And uh, that's good to have for medical, you know, stuff where you run out of, while you're driving down the road, it'll be charging the battery. So you can, you got to use a battery that's a, uh, a marine battery. You cannot use a regular, just car battery. It has to be a marine battery. And over here, which is interesting, is where you fill up your, your gas at one time, but we put a new filler a filler neck on there, and a, new hoses, of course, and a new tank, of course, and then you get water in there. So if you need fresh water, you got fresh water in there. So it's kind of like a camping shit trailer or a survival trailer. Then I got these jacks. It's a jack, you guys. So you can jack this thing up. And these toolboxes, we're gonna get rid of them all. This is kind of cool. We're going to test this out, see if it works. In a minute here, I'm going to test it out. And then uh, let's see if the, all this stuff works. See if the pump works, see if that works. And then you can see that the other tire is, is gone. Uh, 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 I have it here. I just got to put it on. Let me go grab some water and see if we can fill this thing up. Might be able to get a little water on the floor, but it's okay. Let me see. Let me fill it up. Fill it up with water, guys. See how much water it takes and we're gonna see if it has any leaks in it 
And then I'll show you the pump that I put in it. It's the first time ever using this. It may take a little bit, maybe even fast forward a little bit, I don't know. Maybe why I've worked, that's filling up. Maybe I can sh hook up the battery and see if the pump is going to work. Let's see. I'm not going to hook it straight up like regular. Maybe I need some, some vice grips. Hold on one second. I got a brand new, brand new negative right here that I get put on. Not brand new, but new to it, should I say. guys check this out I'm gonna turn this off watch so you got water coming out of there I'm gonna turn it off by doing that and the pump automatically stops and then you can make sure it shut it off but now let's do the battery test on this and hook this up so this this over here guys it's like a plug-in charger. Let's see if this works. Yeah. There's nothing. Might be a bad bulb. Let's hope it's a bad bulb. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna try a different bulb on this. Another one. All right, now let me hook up the negative here. And then these are the lights I hooked up and see it plugged in right here. Okay, so that's working. And look at you can change modes on it too. And that's all done right here guys, watch. So I unplug it. All done. And look at, look at see. To mount this to to this trailer to the back of it I want to mount it to the back of the trailer so we have an emergency we can have the flashers going off in the back of the camper shell so these things are going off like crazy so people know that hey we need help you know something's going on this is called this is what I call this emergency trailer and so we got new new bearings new new uh, pump a pump hooked up new new hose and then we're gonna have two gas tanks here rather than kerosene. This is full of kerosene. We don't need kerosene for anything that I could think of. So I think we definitely need two gas cans. So if we run out of gas, because sometimes you've got 200 miles before you can hit the next gas station, this will this will protect us. And we'll also have, have stuff in here. We'll have uh, cooling apparatuses in here. You can look inside the bed here. It's a bunch of tools and uh, some camping stuff. We're going to have pumps built inside here with a hose coming out here so we can air up things, you know. So I'll have a long hose and I'll have a, you know, like a belt that comes through here. And I could just bring out the hose all the way down to my truck or whatever. That way I can air up, air up stuff, whatever we need to do. Help friends along the way, whatever we need to do. And then uh, we'll have a, a toolbox in here full of max of tools you know that way we can you know the tools that necessary that we may need on the road you know what i mean stuff that we don't need we're not going to take with us but i want a camper shell to cover up all the stuff and if somebody gets in injured in some way or something like that we have something kind of emergency place to, to put somebody you know what i mean and uh not to not to haul them because you're not allowed to haul anybody on a, in a trailer why it's it's not a fit unless it's a fifth wheel and you got to have two-way walkie-talkie communication so we're not going to be doing anything like that but yeah, i mean to, to you know work on somebody like a 
a leg or an injury or something we could work on them in here and rather than on the street or on the road it's more 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 protection because uh we're going to be on the road for like four days guys we're going to be hitting all kinds of stuff we're going to hit route, route 66 all the way and, and all the way up to on route 40 and then we're going up through uh, virginia and uh, uh west virginia and then pennsylvania that's where we're heading so guys watch and stay tuned and watch the route 66 show you know because we're going to be traveling here pretty soon probably probably in another month or so it's going to be a little bit long time because i hate to show you guys but you guys you guys know that if you guys follow me that you know this is uh i rent this house out and it's, it's one of my investment properties and uh it never got sold so i used it for you know keeping all my stuff and I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my stuff and I have a lot of stuff guys and we need to get rid of this. that's what's prolonging my my trip it could have been done already but the reason why it hasn't been done yet is because I gotta get rid of all this stuff and we can head out of here so I want to head out of here before it gets really hot in the summertime you know so maybe the air conditioning thing on top of this thing and a generator I don't know Leave your, your, leave your comments down below. I mean, look at this. This is going to be pretty cool. Once I get some hubcaps on this thing, it's going to be it's going to be pretty nice, you guys. You know, it's, it's 68 Ford Carrier. You know, I, I'm, I'm looking for one, I, I, a complete one. Anybody knows that has a complete one? Let me know because I'd like to, I'd like to buy a whole complete one. It'd be super nice to have a complete. And then... Uh, I can I can throw this behind. Hopefully, it's the same color. I really like green. Green's one of my favorite colors. Um, but what do you guys think? I mean, uh, I think this would be kind of cool. We have emergency lights in the back, in case of emergency. And we, we got that. We're gonna have a generator, maybe a camper shell. These things gotta come off. Just haul bikes on there. Take all this stuff off of here, and then make it just a emergency trailer is what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it an emergency trailer. Everybody should make one. I think everybody should make one of these things and be, be prepared for emergency situations. You can take this thing small enough to put it anywhere you want. Like, doesn't hog up a lot of room. Let's see, let's see. with the tongue, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half foot long. I mean, you could put that almost anywhere. And the width of it is probably only like, let's see, five, maybe one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five, five feet wide, five feet wide, and, uh, you know, it's not long, so you can, you can, you can hide this somewhere in your backyard or somewhere, so you can have it and ready to go, you know what I mean? I'm just happy everything works, and, uh, I just wanted to show you guys this, I'm sorry, there's stuff in, in the back of it and all that. Well, let's take one last look around it and uh yeah we put new 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 wheel bearings in it <clears throat> we do have some new ones on the other side and then the ford carrier and then i never aspired uh, registration on this thing in california but in pennsylvania i don't know how it works out out there it'd be a whole different line of work out there and the inside of this thing look at this thing no rot no rot in here whatsoever and then uh, we're going to show you a video of it being pulled out. So be the clips in there of us pulling it out where we got it out of the backyard. It was it was abandoned, and then I, I started doing all this extra stuff to it. And I thought it'd be a great idea if I spent like four hundred dollars on tires just alone. I got three tires, so I got a spare tire just in case of emergency. We get a flat. We got one. We got jacks. We got everything we got to do. We got the impact guns, all that stuff. So we're ready to go, you know, it's just a matter of getting rid of the rest of the stuff around here and then uh, and we'll be back, you guys. Hey, you guys, thank you for liking and subscribing and following to my channel. I really appreciate it. It means a lot that the thumbs up pushes the video out further. I appreciate that. And also, if you guys want to win $1,000, I'm really close to getting to 1,000 subscribers. I'm like... I'm like at eight, eight seventy-five or something like that right now. I just cannot believe it. Thank you guys very much for subscribing to my channel. And those that haven't or are watching, subscribe. You can win something. And then I also got Super J's Garage. 
uh, as super and with a letter J with an S and garage. And that is a good video to see on this too, because we're going to be showing a lot of videos on this, the wheel packing and all that stuff, a lot of stuff on this. And, um, and we have a, a lot of cool stuff coming up on super J's too. And on super J's, it's got 400 and I think 30 uh, subscribers on that channel. And I'm giving out a thousand dollars as well on that channel too. And we're going to make it all fair and le legit. It's going to be live. And we're going to be going through all my subscribers and whoever's, you got to be a subscriber to win. And then if you're a subscriber, you can win on either channel. Um, or you might, who knows, you might get lucky and get both channels. But uh, I hope, hope at least, you know, two people win. You know, I'd rather see that, you know, it'd be kind of fair that way. But I, I'm trying to make things as fair as we can. And somebody said something to make it like a digital thing to make sure that it goes through the right way. So that there's no cheating in, in, in there or nothing like that. And if you guys look at my playlist on Wild West Hopkins Family, you'll see that I do give a lot of giveaways and I'm a true person. I like to do, I truly do like giving giveaways. And uh, um, you'll see that if you look under my playlists, there's a lot of videos still that aren't on my playlist that I haven't put down as giveaways. But we got to go through that and start updating some of that stuff because I gave a lot more stuff away that people don't even see unless you go through all my channel. And I don't really want you guys to do all that unless you like watching my videos. That would be fine. I appreciate it. The time does help uh, watching all the way through. And if you guys ever, ever get, you know, don't have enough time to watch your channel, push save uh, on the video. Like, we'll give it a thumbs up and then put save and then and then you can watch it later if you you, you got to go back to work or do something you know what i mean anyways if your head's down remember your mind puts you there your mind's powerful enough to take you out of there thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one me babbling on babbling on babbling on trying to get that thousand subscribers i'm sorry guys i'm sorry for pushing i don't ever push anybody for nothing i just like trying to get there because i'd like to be there because when we're, going, when we're going across country, I really like that, a thousand subscribers. It's gonna help us do more with our channel. And it's gonna push the channel a lot better to have more views and more things going on. And uh, you'll get to see the new big house and all the acreage we got out there in Pennsylvania. And uh, it's beautiful, guys. I can't wait to get there and show you guys the ground. And uh, we're gonna be seeing the bugs in the ground, the world's biggest cross. Thank God, we gotta have the, the cross, you know. We got the world's biggest cross, we're gonna be seeing that. And uh, we're gonna be seeing some things along the road. Some antique gas stations, all kinds of stuff. Who knows what we'll run into, God knows. <laughs> and what kind of exploring we're gonna have. It's gonna be fun, guys. You guys gotta come and join us. Anyway, like and subscribe, and you'll see us in the next one. Bye now. deep that is guys right on the cement partial on the cement partial not there goes. I got some of this how that look <laughs> she's built videotaping this <laughs> yeah isn't that cool guys right, check it out it's, you see a camping trolley has a uh, battery on the back. Fill that up with water. You got your water hooker, hooker upper, and you're ready to go. And you can put another gas tank on this side. No joke. Pretty cool on that camping stuff right in here. Yeah, you slow down like three.